All right, so today we're making pupusas. Uh, so ingredients are corn flour, cornmeal, some refried beans, cheese, you can use mozzarella. I have this Colombian cheese, so I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna add in some onions, because I have some grilled onion and raw onion over here that needs to be used. And then this, this, this goes on top. It consists of cabbage, oregano, onion, and carrots. I made it last night. Let's go back to them. Chris from yesterday here, you're basically seeing everything that we need to make this stuff. You need some cabbage, I've sliced up and put the rest of it right there. Some carrot, some onion, oregano, apple cider vinegar. You gotta get a good mix on it. I probably have too much onion here actually, but you know, it is what it is. Throw some oregano on there. Maybe a little bit in there. Grab the salt. I'm just gonna add the salt into here because it'll mix in with the vinegar. And we just gotta get this mixed together. A bowl would be really smart. Definitely think you should have a bowl here to do this with instead of your hands on a cutting board. But like, I'm in it already, you know? Grab a jar, stuff it on in here. Throw in a little bit of water. It's probably too much water. Uh, a jalapeno would make sense in here too. You're supposed to have one. I thought I had one here. And uh, turns out, I don't. I think we just, we overfilled. Let's just pull a little bit of this stuff out. Make sure it's all actually in there. All right. Put that in your fridge, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, so it's just been sitting for 24 hours now. That's just a topping though. What do we need to do? We need to get the beans. They are a good source of fiber apparently. Let's work on the dough. Cause that's really like the main thing here. After you make this stuff, it's just make dough. You can stuff them with whatever. You can do pork, you can do beans. Oh man. That is the worst possible way that this could have opened. Look for the scissors. How does this always happen? How do we always lose the scissors? They're just like never here. So I have no idea how many this is gonna make. It's just me eating them, so I don't need like a ton. I am going with about a cup. This is more than a cup. Throw a nice pinch of salt in as well. And then equal parts water. I think it's actually a little bit more than equal parts water. We'll see as the dough comes together here. You wanna add it in a little bit at a time. I mean, I guess if you add too much water, you can just go ahead and add in more flour. It doesn't really matter. Break up any like clumps in there that are hard. This is still far too dry. See how crumbly it is? Too dry. I'm looking for like a smooth dough. That might have been too much water. That might have done me in right there. A little bit too wet, add in a little bit more dry. A little bit too dry, add in a little bit more wet. You'll eventually get there. I like how I say this as if I'm some kind of expert. I have literally never made these before in my entire life. I watched several videos, none of them in English, so that feels right. That, that looks right and feels right. Oh, this is like a crumbly cheese. Oh no, I don't think this is the right kind of cheese at all. Well, I also have mutts, so it'll be fine. It is like a crumbled cheese. Not necessarily what I was looking for. Tastes good. Grab a bowl of dough. Actually, get the pan on first with a little bit of oil. Now grab a bowl of dough and slowly flatten it out. Grab a chunk of cheese. Crap, I'm just gonna finger these beans in here. This is gonna be the test pupusa. And I want some of these cooked onions. I don't know why I put raw onions on top of my cooked onions. That was silly of me. And now, you kind of cup it up over and reform the ball. All right, once the ball is reformed, you can flatten it back out. See, the problem is this cheese isn't gonna, yeah, this cheese is gonna make me fail. See, that's it's too hard, it's too big. It's fine, the second pupusa is gonna come out great though, because we're saying screw this cheese. Mm. No, it's delicious, my God. It's the wrong stuff, don't use it. I wonder if this cheese even melts. Nope, it grills. Interesting. All right, let's do this again. Pretend like that first pupusa didn't exist. Ball of dough. Slowly spread it on out. Grab some mozzarella, or a lot of mozzarella, Jesus. Finger up some beans. I'm probably overfilling this. Grab some cooked onion. Try and keep it all inside. Cup it up. Yeah, you really overfilled this. The whole thing broke on the back end. Patch it up. Form a nice ball. On the inside, or nope, nope, it's fine. Papusa ball. Oh, this cheese sort of melts eventually. Okay, let's try this one more time here. It's 
check out the overstuffed pupusa. Let's see if we can salvage it. There we go. Also, I'm gonna eat this piece of cheese. It did get a little soft and melty, but... Oh god, that's really good. Whatever cheese this is, it was meant to be fried. Not for pupusas, though. You can see it sitting back there. You want to get these so that they're brown on both sides. All right, so fun fact, the pupusas are done. You put the uh, the pickled vegetables across the top, crack one of these bad boys open. Wow, this is really hot. Not a ton of cheese pull, severely burning myself. Should have picked that one that's cooled off for a while. Yeah, it's just beans, cheese, and onion. Oh my God, it's so good, it's so hot. I'm gonna get a bite from here and grab some of the Mm. That's delicious. Quick, easy, tastes super good. I'm a big fan. Make these. It could be a fun thing to do. It could be a fun thing to do with like little kids. You know? Just something that you could easily do with children. I gotta grab some salsa out of the fridge. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Bye.